Today I am going to be running you through some of the things I do on a typical evening to wind down and basically give myself a little bit of a pamper. The first thing I try and do as part of my nighttime routine is to shut off my laptop and walk away from work, which actually I find quite difficult because I work from home and this completely depends on how much of a busy day I've had. But generally, I like to try and finish around six o'clock. The next thing I like to do is to get into my cozy loungewear and to tie up my hair. I like to go for messy chic. Sometimes it's a bit of a pineapple do. Other times I literally just throw it up. To be honest, I just like having my hair out of the way. I like to make my bedroom quite cozy so that when I go back up to bed, it's really inviting and comfortable and it just feels a lot more like I'm ready for bed. There's nothing worse than walking into a cold, dark bedroom. I also think that Alfie really appreciates me doing these things for him as well. The next stage of my nighttime routine generally involves turning on a crap ton of fairy lights because, as you know, it is that time of the year again where there are twice as many candles and twice as many fairy lights and I am not complaining because they are my favourite things ever. My mood is so dependent on my surroundings so I like to make my home really comfortable and cosy for the evenings and if that means spending five minutes turning on lights and lighting candles then I'm more than happy to do it. Don't you feel like everything just feels so much more happy and comfortable when you've got candles and fairy lights? Next up, I'll make myself a drink. In the summertime, this is more than likely gonna be a pint of lime squash, but because it's cold out and it's very wintry, it's the perfect time to make herbal teas and I have quite a selection. I love when Christmas time rolls around because it means I can get out my absolutely adorable Next Snowman mug. It is just the best thing that I actually own. The tea that I'm currently obsessed with is the Bluebird Tea Company Snowball. It tastes absolutely delicious. It has chocolate in it and marshmallows in it. And I also think this is a really nice alternative for people who don't drink normal tea but want something nice in the evenings. My evening snack of choice generally depends on my mood or how hungry I am, but this evening I've opted for two mini all butter mince pies because it's December. Why wouldn't you want to eat mince pies with your tea? No Nala, those are mine. <laughs> More than likely Alfie will join me for this section of the evening and we'll just cozy up on the sofa with a drink and some snacks and we'll flick through some of our favourite TV programmes, do a bit of catching up or because of the time of year, I think it's only right to catch up on some festive classics. One of my absolute favourites is The Grinch and I'm not going to lie, this is like the eighth time I've seen it this month. Whenever I film these videos, you guys must think I try and force my dog to be in all these shots, but I promise you she follows me around like a shadow and she wants to be with me wherever I am, but it is so cute. During the film or even after the film is when I generally do a little bit more catching up. This is when I'm quite naughty and I'll just quickly check my emails or scroll through Twitter or make sure I've replied to everybody I need to reply to. I think it's just that kind of second check through the evening to make sure you can actually turn off. If you work from home, you'll know what I'm saying. It's also a time that I like to catch up with some of my favourite YouTubers, scroll through Twitter, check my mentions, or go through comments, reply to emails, just a little bit of internet maintenance. All the while with Nala sitting as close to me as she possibly can. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next up is removing my makeup, which I have to say is one of my favorite times of the day. First thing I'm using is the Clinique Take the Day Off Oil. This is amazing at removing your makeup and doing the first step of your cleanse. This step either comes in right at the beginning of the evening or just before I go for a bath or literally just before I go to bed or if I'm feeling particularly tired and I'm being extremely naughty, I'll go to bed with the remnants of that day's makeup clinging on for dear life, which I do not recommend. Recommend. I always recommend taking off your makeup, but not gonna lie, sometimes that does not happen. To actually cleanse my skin, I'm using the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. This is a limited edition one that smells so Christmassy and I absolutely love it. I just remove that with a wet flannel and then move on to toning my face. To tone my face, I'm using Sunday Riley's Martian, which I pump onto a cotton wool pad and just smooth over my face. And then because this is the evening, I quite like to finish off with an oil, so I'm currently using the Sunday Riley UFO oil, which looks quite scary because it's green, but trust me, it doesn't make you look like an actual alien. <laughs> The next section of the day is something that I do really like to do and that is to have a bath which is of course no surprise to any of you. I'm using the Lush Magic of Christmas bubble wand and I'm just holding that under the running water to create lots and lots of bubbles. And then because I can't just stop there, I've also popped in the Lush Mistletoe Bath Bomb just to give it a bit of colour and also I just find these make your skin smell absolutely incredible. Whenever I am having my bath, Nala will always come up and she'll curl up on my clothes and it's the cutest thing. Does anybody else's dog do this? And then she'll just sleep next to me whilst I have my bath. It's adorable. Whilst I'm in the bath, I either like to read or again, catch up on everyone's vlogmases. There's so many to watch at the moment, so I find I need a little bit of catching up time and the perfect time to do that is the bath. One of my favorite body washes at the moment is the Body Shop Spiced Apple. Definitely recommend that if you want something that smells of Christmas. After my bath, I will pop on my festive pyjamas. These ones are from Kath Kidston. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable and I'll go and brush my teeth. I feel like this doesn't really need any explanation. You put your toothpaste on your toothbrush and your brush. The next step is to come into my bedroom, take off my mountain of pillows and climb into my bed, which at the moment I'm really obsessed with because we've got all new bedding and it's like getting into a giant marshmallow. Normally me and Alfie come to bed at the same time, but obviously I'm filming a video so I wasn't going to force him to put pyjamas on and get into bed with me. And because my dog is so needy, she of course is following me every step of the way. <laughs> Just before I go to bed, I like to apply a lip balm. This one is by Omravicha. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's so good. Now all that's left for me to do is to blow out the candles and turn off the lights and try and get as much sleep as I possibly can for another busy day. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!